Hello, welcome back. In the last lecture, we have seen how to automate the Trivelocity website using WebDriver client. And this is the program that is automating the browser for Trivelocity.com. And here we are just putting four parameters like uh, departure city is SFO and destination city is DFW and this is the departure date and this is the arrival date. Can we incorporate this thing into the framework that we have developed? Okay, and the framework that we have developed is this. So here we are reading the input parameters from an Excel file and Excel file is look like this. Okay, so essentially in this program we are just finding price and this price is basically automating the orbis.com website. So our goal here is to find the price using Travelocity as well as orbis.com. So therefore let's extend this program we want to also create another function and that function is find price by Trivelocity and let's rename this function to find price by Orbitz. For each of these input parameters we are first going to use Trivelocity automation to find out what is the price that is shown by Trivelocity. Then with same parameter we use Orbitz.com and find out what is the price that is shown by Orbitz.com. So that is the plan. So that, that means essentially for each of this row we are going to run two times. One using orbis.com, one using travelocity.com. So here is a program that uh, I am showing you. So what I have done, I have created a method called find price by travelocity. Find price by travelocity is just exactly the replica of what we are doing in the travelocity.java program. Alright, so, so just copy and paste this thing into this method find price by Trivelocity and, and parameterize that one take to take to input parameter one is departure city another is destination city and then use those things in this parameter so look like you know, in your Trivelocity or Java program you are just hard coded it okay so what I've done here I've just whatever the parameter I'm getting here I'm just putting that parameter and this parameter I'm going to supply inside the for loop Alright, I, mod I, uh, I modify this function name, this method name used to be find price and I did that find price by orbits. Okay, and find price by orbits is going to open the orbits.com and then and then find the price from the orbits.com. Whereas find price by Travelocity is going to find from the Travelocity website. So I am going to call this function by Travelocity and whatever the data I got I put that in the map so that means the the program runs like this so first I read from Excel the first time I'm going to get this data SFO to CTG so the parameter is coming SFO CTG so therefore whenever I'm going to run this program find price by Travelocity I'm passing SFO and CTG and then find price by Travelocity will be called and then it is going to run from the Travelocity.com website get me the price. So whatever the price I got I'm going to put that price and the itinerary and itinerary string I modified thing called using Travelocity and from and destination city. So therefore basically whatever the map I have created the first time I'm going to run let's say I got the price from the Travelocity that is a P1. P1 comma then this string using Travelocity from city name is SFO to CTG. So the itinerary, so itinerary one. Then I'll get another price. Let's say I call that price P2. When, when I call this method, find price by orbits. Okay. And let's say this itinerary two. These two prices may differ because this is fetched from Travelocity and this is fetched from orbits. Okay. So similarly, I am going to repeat for this three lines. So basically at the end of this thing, I'm expecting eight more key value pairs. Alright, so once I get this eight key value pairs, what I'm going to do, I'm take this key set so that I can create this array list. I using collection dot sort dot sort object, I'm going to sort it, and then the first element will going to give me the lowest flight pair. And also what I've done, I put some system dot out println so that I can show you how it runs. Okay, so let's run this program and see what is really going on. Okay, so first thing is going to Travelocity and then so Travelocity price from San Francisco to Charles de Gaulle Airport Paris is 
Okay, so let's see how much Orbis is going to give me. So now it's running for Orbis.com. Okay, the Orbis.com price is eleven eighteen. Okay, see, like looks like Travelocity is two dollar cheaper. Okay, so let's and the next time it is running from DFW to Frankfurt, and Travelocity price is already calculated eleven eleven point two. Let's see how much Orbis is giving. Okay. So Orbis has given me eleven sixty seven. Okay, again Orbis is expensive than Travelocity. All right, now it is going from San Francisco to Milano, and the uh, Travelocity price is eleven fifty point one, and now it's going to Orbis dot com. It's now competing from Orbis price. Orbis price is twelve twenty two. Again, Orbis is higher. Okay, so looks like Orbis is higher. And if you also notice something else, Travelocity is just giving quick right away. But whereas Orbis dot com is taking some time to compute. Okay, so like you know, we are almost waiting for some time to to find out what is the price that is coming from Orbis dot com. So essentially, this is what uh, my goal in this video is to show you that we can use that. data driven framework whatever we built and just modify a little bit so that we can find out from different prices so here is that the minimum fare comes out to be 975 using using travelocity okay so travelocity is probably giving us the best deal 